I am Abush Tasfai. I, I work for Ethiopian Institute of Agricultural Research, uh, based at Juma Agricultural Research Center. Uh, I'm soybean breeder and uh, coordinator of pulses and oil crops research case team at Juma Agricultural Research Center. Our soybean program was started uh, late in the 1970s, but it was discontinued for some time because soybean was not well introduced into the farming system and farmers were not um, using soybean or producing soybean a lot. So uh, now it restarted again uh, in the uh, early 2000. Uh, 2000, as of 2000, and uh, now it is continuing well. Now we are strengthening this program. So there were varieties released in the uh, late 1970s which are still in production, like variety Clark 63K, and but also there are varieties which are re released recently, like uh, Afghat, and which is also a very good uh, variety uh, released by one of the research center, Pawe Agricultural Research Center. So we are using these varieties for production on farmers' field. The other thing is we are working to strengthen our breeding program. We have got quite significant germplasm introduction from uh, the National Genetic Resource Center of the US, from University of Illinois. Uh, with that, we, we, we are able to identify some good materials, like we have 10 to uh, some 10 good lines that are potential for uh, to be tested across multi-location and then uh, some varieties are expected to be released from these materials. On the other hand, we are also working to enhance the genetic uh, variability of soybeans through hybridization. We are able to develop more than 180 recombinant inbred lines which are under evaluation this year. And then also we we set some multi-location trials from varieties that are introduced from the U.S. and uh, these materials are performing well and good. And uh, we expect some materials to be uh, uh, released out of these multi-location trials. We have lines like five zero zero two. T and um, Ozark, Ciaric, these are some of the materials that are so some of the lines that are performing uh, well in our condition. Our crossing activity is also continuing uh, uh, every year and we are evaluating segregating progenies populations every year so to, to be able to identify uh, good segregating uh, good transgressive segregant lines. As soybean is one of a very important crop, a multi-purpose uh, crop, which has a diverse advantage for, for, the, for the farmers, uh, African breeders or the breeders need to focus as, uh, to make soybean as one of the major crop. Um, and what I advise is uh, we have limited genetic diversity or variability of this crop, so we need to enhance. The first thing that we need to focus is in enhancing the genetic variability of soybean. And then uh, to be able to identify the best materials that can adapt to the diverse agroecological conditions of different countries. So the breeders need to work uh, in enhancing the genetic variability through introductions, and, uh, in, uh, hybridization, and uh, also uh, exchange of information. These days, is information is uh, widely available, and we, we should exploit all the available information to make sure we have a, a very strong breeding programs in different African countries.